Insta360 kicked things off with the Anti-Gravity A1, their first 360-degree drone that captures everything around you in crisp 8K while staying under 250 grams. It's small, creative, and designed for people who love the fly-first frame-later freedom. Then DJI jumped in with the Neo 2, a beginner-friendly, ultralight drone that shoots smooth 4K video, includes omnidirectional obstacle detection, and is built for everyday creators who want easy flying with beautiful results. But now, the hype is shifting again, because leaks and early images strongly suggest that DJI is preparing the Avatar 360, a hybrid FPV meets 360 drone that could redefine aerial creativity. This rumored drone is expected to bring together high-resolution spherical capture, fast FPV-style movement, and a compact sub-250 gram design, positioning it directly against the anti-gravity A1. With all these choices, creators are starting to ask the big question. Should you wait for the Avatar 360 or go ahead and buy the DJI Neo 2 or the Insta 360 anti-gravity A1 right now? Insta360 Anti-Gravity A1 was engineered around a dual-lens 360 capture system that stitches in real-time and is designed for an invisible drone effect where the craft is hidden in the stitch. That dual-lens approach is optimized for full spherical coverage, letting creators reframe footage in post. The rumored DJI Avatar 360 looks likely to borrow or adapt DJI's Osmo 360 imaging tech. Leaks point to twin 1.1-inch sensors or similar high-resolution modules so DJI can offer true 360 capture while also being able to rotate or switch the camera into a forward-facing mode. In contrast, the Neo 2 uses a conventional single forward-facing sensor reported as a 1.5-inch sensor around 12 megapixels, tuned for sharp single-direction video rather than spherical footage. For creators who want the maximum flexibility, the anti-gravity. A1's headline is 8K 360 video capture. That means it records every direction so you can choose framing after the flight. This is powerful for immersive content, VR, and special reframing effects, but it produces enormous files and needs heavy post-processing. The Avatar 360 leaks claim similar ambitions. 8K 360 at high frame rates in panoramic mode, plus the ability to switch to single lens modes like 5K 60 or high frame rate 4K for fast action. Those claims would make the Avatar 360 a versatile hybrid if they hold true. The Neo 2 focuses on traditional video, true 4K capture, and unusually high frame rate options for a small drone. Reports mention up to 100 frames per second slow motion modes but it is not built for spherical capture and therefore trades reframing freedom for simpler, lighter workflows. Expect the 360 drones to demand far more storage and stronger editing rigs than the Neo 2. The Anti-Gravity A1 is lightweight at about 249 grams, a deliberate choice to keep the craft easy to carry and to fit into lighter regulatory classes. Reported flight time on early coverage was relatively modest, typical for 360 systems that need power for two imaging modules and stitching. Rumors for the Avatar 360 vary. Some leaks suggest DJI might keep weight under 250 grams too while improving efficiency, and other leaks suggest it could manage longer recording windows than early 360 prototypes. The Neo 2, being a small, efficient single-sensor drone, is reported to reach around 19 minutes of flight per battery in real-world or official figures. Its short-form mission profile suits social creators and vloggers who use multiple short flights. Practically, if you need long continuous aerial recordings or long filming days, plan on spare batteries and a workflow for huge files when you pick a 360 drone. Anti-Gravity chose an A1 design around immersive flight. 
goggles, plus a grip controller and software that lets you fly first, frame later. The stitching and invisible drone post-process are core to the experience DJI's rumored Avatar 360 appears to merge FPV ergonomics with 360 capture. Leaked images imply a rotatable camera module and strong obstacle sensing, LiDAR, and multi-direction vision sensors, which would be a meaningful safety upgrade if true. DJI's Neo 2 focuses on accessibility, palm takeoff, gesture controls, omnidirectional obstacle sensing on a compact body, and features like return to palm that make it user-friendly for newcomers. In short, Anti-Gravity and Avatar 360 emphasize immersive control and creative framing. Neo 2 emphasizes simple, reliable flight and advanced tracking. This is where the difference becomes practical. An 8K 360 workflow pushes your storage, editing software, and CPU GPU hard. You need powerful machines and lots of space to handle stitch corrections, color grading, and reframing. The Anti-Gravity A1 ships with an ecosystem that assumes this workflow. If DJI's Avatar 360 delivers similar 8K 360 files, it will have the same demands plus the added complexity of making first-person view, style footage compatible with 360 stitching. The Neo 2's single-lens 4K output is far easier to edit on a mid-range laptop and faster to get into social platforms. If you value speed and low friction, Neo 2 wins. If you value creative options and immersive results, an A1 slash Avatar 360 wins at the price of time and gear. Insta360's anti-gravity is positioned as a premium creative tool because of its novel 360 capture and bundled goggles slash controls. Expect a higher total cost of ownership when you factor in storage and editing needs. The Avatar 360's rumored price is not fixed but some leaks suggest DJI could price competitively, trying to undercut or match anti-gravity while offering an FPV hybrid. If DJI ships strong obstacle sensing and hybrid modes, that could be excellent value. The Neo 2 sits on the other end of the scale, an affordable, beginner-friendly option that offers a lot of capability for social creators without the high file handling cost of 8K 360. Choose the anti-gravity if your core need is immersive. 360 content, VR or storytelling, where the ability to reframe everything after the flight is essential and you're ready for heavy editing. Consider the Avatar 360 if you want a single drone that can both deliver immersive 360 shots and perform as an FPV cinematic tool. But only if the final DJI product actually matches the current leaks. Pick the Neo 2 if you want quick, reliable single direction footage with advanced tracking and safety features, and you need low friction from capture to social upload.